If you run methanol in your race car, then you're going to want to watch this. I'm interviewing Chris Mitchell with Kim Source Racing Methanols, and he's really got something. He, his product is something else. I've been running it in my cars. I just switched to it, and then uh, I actually got sick. Um, I do apologize for this video. You might hear me sniff a couple times with my nose and things like that. Um, I have been struggling with a throat infection and, you know, sinuses and things like that for uh, about two months now. But uh, I've still been trying to get this video out and pushing this along um, because I really, I really want racers to know about this. I mean, this is... I mean, this is big. Uh, one thing I've noticed, I've had another elite car that has been running this fuel. And, uh, you know, if you're on fuel injection, oh, it's a no-brainer. And he will explain why. Uh, shoot. Honestly, carburetors, no-brainer too. If you don't want gunk in your carburetor, uh, you're tired of having to clean it in the off-season. Uh, you're worried about, or you run into your floats getting stuck, things like that. This solves all of that. And uh, we're about to explain why. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Kellen Farmer, Race Tech here, man. And I am excited about something, a, a little little something, something I've had in the works, you know. Uh, I'm a firm believer with Race Tech, man, for winners only. And that's our motto. And with for winners only, we're always chasing what's next, where's the best, where's the advantage, and... I might have found something, and I'm really excited to share with you. So, this is my man Chris Mitchell here with Kim Source, and Chris, he's making methanol. And if you're running methanol, you're really going to want to pay attention here because he's found something. And I've got a couple racers out there that have already been race running his fuel because I mean, you know us, we're not going to send. You, I'm not going to sit here and promote something if I don't have racers out there that have tried it, tested it made sure that, hey, there's something to what this guy's saying. And, uh, and man, with Michael, you know, he's been going out. He's got, the, he's got a brand new race tech. He switched to Kim Source's fuel. And, man, his first day running it, he went a 446-0 at Rockingham three times in a row. That's nasty. Uh, and I've seen some improvement. Um, now, note, I've got this brand new dragster. We're still getting it dialed in, getting a couple things figured out. Um, but I can tell you right now, uh, with what I've seen in the world of racing and and with kind of what's going on with certain companies, he's on to something. So anyway, Chris, I think you got a great product, man. I really, I mean, I'm impressed with you, dude. Thanks. I really am. I mean, you got your own business. You got employees working for you. You're running the show. You're making things happen. You're putting out barrels of fuel and all sorts of chemical products. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff that's big, more bigger brain than what I got. You know, uh, I just build race cars. <laughs> you know, but uh, dude, what you find, dude? What's what's different about your methanol compared to you know these other brands? Right, right. No, I appreciate it. Uh, thank, thank you, Race Tech, for having me here today. It's been a pleasure and an honor to meet you, work with you. Uh, as we've dug into the chemistry, first of all, my name's Chris Mitchell. Uh, I'm the owner of Chem Source Racing Methanol. And so what we've done is developed a product. There was a, a disparity in good, clean fuel that could help racers win races. Uh, we first heard of a lot of issues with carburetors being clogged up, needles and seat being stuck, car, uh, injectors being clogged up, and really causing a lot of headaches in the industry. So racers were uh, spending more time cleaning out their fuel system, cleaning their fuel filters, having inconsistent ETs, a lot of headaches. And so what we did is um, we developed a product that's extremely clean, has eliminate all the issues with carburetors, injectors. Uh, it's allow people to have more consistent ETs where they're printing the same number every single time. Um, we've kept it at a price that is comparable to everything else on the market. Uh, but I think it's important to understand what people are running now and then what I have developed. So when, when we talk about that, um, I'm very versed in the EPA laws. So I understand uh, they have some exclusions that are out there. And, and, and this is all speculation just based on my common sense. I'm a very common sense guy. Um, but from what I'm hearing from a lot of people, you get a lot of debris in the fuel. 
Um, I've heard green stuff, brown stuff, globular stuff. Um, some of the racers that we know have had metal shavings when they drained their fuel system into a filter, uh, just a pile of metal shavings in there. So I've really seen it all, heard it all of all the different problems. And what's important to know is that methanol is a very clean solvent. So when it comes originally manufactured, it's super clean, clear. It doesn't have any of that debris in it. It's, it's as clean as it could possibly be. So what the EPA law has allowed people to do is take a byproduct. So let's say you have a metal fabrication company. You're saying you're using methanol here for something that you're using building race cars. You buy the methanol that's extremely clean that was manufactured to be a chemical. You use it in your process. And then when you get done with it, it goes to a waste tank or a waste barrel, whatever, however you're gonna store it. But along the way, when you use the methanol, it's picked up contaminants, whether it be powder coat, metal shavings, um, you know, any kind of polymer or any kind of something like that to, to carry with it the debris. All right. And then, so you have a waste and the EPA made an exclusion where if somebody wants to come to you and say, Kellen, I know you have this waste. If you give it to me or if I buy it from you, you don't have to call it a hazardous waste. It's a replacement for a commercial product. And the EPA says, as long as you don't filter it or use it in any kind of a way to clean it up, you don't have to call it a hazardous waste. It can be a product for reuse and replacement for a commercial product. So what I believe is happening in the industry, which has become a very large problem now, is some of these companies are taking that waste and promoting that as racing fuel. And the reason I think that is because methanol doesn't have any of that stuff in it that's causing all these problems. So I can only deduce that it's a byproduct from something that has occurred before. And when we're putting it in our race cars, it's carrying whatever contaminants that were originally created in the process along with it. Um, so I think it's important to know what is out there. And I don't, I want to say every company's doing that, but I've heard from all of the different racers that have had the same issues from no matter really who they bought it from. And a lot of them have the contamination issues. So what our strive, uh, our goal is, is to make a very clean fuel that doesn't have any of those contaminants that is optimally chemically built in a lab um, we bring in 99.99% pure methanol. That's the purest methanol you can get. And then I add my specialty chemistry through trial and error. I, I'm a drag racer myself. I run top eliminator here locally in North Carolina. So I'm wanting to give myself the best. We were just racing at the fling, baby. We were just racing at the fling. Yeah, so we, uh, this guy was nasty at the fling, by the way, too. I don't, he's not going to tell you about his perfect life uh, that he cut, but I saw it myself. Uh, so. I don't know about nasty, <laughs> um, man. I, I did what I could with what I had, that's for sure. <laughs> you did great. Yeah. <laughs> you did great. Tried so, to go a couple rounds. That's right. Yeah, we, we all won a couple rounds, have some fun. Hey, but I know my race techs look good, though. That race techs are on point. <laughs> the race techs did look good. Uh, but what we try to do is develop something, and I've got a lot of friends that race, and, and what I've tried to do is develop something to give them an advantage legally. Everything that we add to our chemistry is legal. Uh, there's no issues or anything like that. But I'm a chemist and I'm a drag racer, so I took the two things that I love. Drag racing is my favorite thing to do, bar none. And, <laughs> I, you know, and I take my passion for chemistry and I mix the two together and I've made an elite fuel. So basically what we have is a super clean fuel that starts as the best that you can get originally with the, the moisture, uh, the contaminants, none of it's there. And then I take my chemistry that I've developed to enhance it. You're going to get extreme consistency on your ETs. Everything is, you're just going to print numbers. If, it, if it's not doing that, it's something mechanically with your car because we see a lot of people running ETs and you'll, you know, be off a couple hundreds here and a couple hundreds there. And it shouldn't be that way. And very likely you need to start looking at your fuel. There's a good chance that if you're having inconsistencies with your car, motors really don't change that much. I mean, converters heat up and things that happen like that. But Start with your fuel. Look at it. See how clean it is. And maybe give us a shot. Try or see if it picks up a little bit. Um, but what we've done is developed an optimal product. There is nothing better. We are the absolute best methanol in the nation, bar none. And we've got the analytical to prove it. I've tested my stuff. I've tested competitor stuff as far as the moisture, uh, as far as the contaminants, all of that stuff on every analytical data point, ours is better. So you don't have to take my word for it. I've got the paperwork to show it. There's actually... Um, a performance engine builder in Missouri. He called me up, said, hey, heard about your fuel. I sent him some to try. He was using one of the other brands, $80,000 engine that, that he had in this special car, drained the fuel, cleaned the fuel system, put my fuel in, gained 23 horsepower and 10 foot pounds of torque. Now I'm not promising that for everybody. I, you know, I, I don't have a relationship with this guy. I, you know, he seemed very intelligent about what he's doing. 
Um, but it's possible. And he's got the analytical data to show that. Yeah, so that's just methanol brand to methanol brand. Same, same you thing. You know, that's, that's, that's two methanols seeing a 20 horsepower difference. You know, that's something to consider. Yeah, that's what he told me. He said, you have no idea how much money people pay me to gain that much horsepower, you know? And I said, well, I'm glad to, glad it helps. So I'm not promising that because everybody, the way they tune their engine, the way they're able to change their jets, everything like that, it, it's really car yeah. dependent, but it is possible and we've got the analytical to show it. Uh, another thing, to, talking about jets, you can force more fuel in your engine running our fuel because it's cleaner and more efficient. It's gonna burn cleaner so you can put more in there put more air in there with it and create more horsepower and more speed. So everybody likes to go faster. I really believe with our fuel you can. So um, another important thing when we're talking about moisture content, because ours is coming in at such a low moisture level, moisture is the catalyst for corrosion. So when we talk about top lube, most people run top lube in their methanol. You don't need top lube with our methanol. I, I actually tell people do not run top lube in our methanol. And the reason why is because when you don't have the moisture that is the catalyst for corrosion, the top lube is to prevent the corrosion, right? That's what it's there for. Yep. Moisture, water in the methanol is what, and, and the more water, the more corrosion that you're gonna have with the methanol. But when the water's not present, the corrosion, the rust, or anything that oxidizes in the motor, if it doesn't have that catalyst, it's gonna occur at a much lower level or non-existent at all. So what's important to know about top lube is it has a flash point, basically when the liquid is heated to become a vapor, that's what the flash point is. The, the, you heat the liquid, it becomes a vapor, and then it's combustible. So methanol's flash point is 54 degrees Fahrenheit, very low, so it, the liquid becomes a vapor at 54 degrees, and that's its optimal combustion rate. Top lube is 444 degrees Fahrenheit. So you really have to heat that top lube up to four, over 400 degrees before it becomes a vapor to be combusted. It will combust as a liquid, but optimal combustion is 444 degrees. So you're taking something that burns very, very bad, putting it something that burns very, very good, and you're expecting it to run the same. You're expecting it to perform at a high level. And it's just our common sense is going to tell us that's not going to happen. Well, I mean, I can tell you right now, I learned that, hey, man, you don't want to run top loop in that elite car that I got. You know what I mean? You want to make that power. That's right. That's right. And and the more lube, you know, lube is a, is a, is a thick <laughs> consistency. So when you're especially an injected car, you want the thinnest, cleanest stuff going through those injectors oh, because yeah, the holes are so small. 100%. So with our stuff, that's to add a benefit. You know, you don't have to buy the top loop. You don't have to put the top loop in it. And you and you remove all of the issues that top lube creates by putting it in there. So, um, you know, overall, it, it's a great product. It's developed specifically for race cars. I mean, I made it to put in a race car engine and for it to optimize the performance and the consistency. So um, that's what we have, that's what we've made. And it, the, we have not had one person try it that has come back and said, eh, it's okay. Everybody's been blown away. Everybody's like, man, I can't believe I wasn't on this sooner. So we've encouraged people. And I think it's just about education because we talked to so many racers that said, methanol's methanol, alcohol's alcohol. And they bought from their buddy or whoever's the cheapest. And um, us as racers, some more than others, spend way more money probably than we should on race cars, trailers, entry fees, all this stuff to go race and have fun and to do well. We, our, our objective is to show up and win. Yeah. If you're going to spend all that money to do all of that stuff. If you're in the round right before the split, wouldn't you want the best car so you can get in the big money? That's exactly I mean, right. It's the same thing with the fuel. Wouldn't you want the best fuel so you can get in the big money? I firmly believe, man, drag racing is all about having a good race car. And when I say a good race car, I mean every as aspect of your racing program is good and there and you can trust it. The car is going to run the number that you predict to the thou. And then from there, you can build your race strategy and you can be a good driver with a good race car. And that's what wins world championships, fling races, big checks. That right there is a Anthony Bertozzi style combination. You're going to be the baddest dude, dude around if you can get the race car and the driver part, they come together, you get that both figured out, that's what you need. And I'm telling you right now, Race Tech, we're the brand to get you in that best Absolutely. race car. And man, like I said, I've got a lot, 
I've said I've said on Facebook several times, you know, um, and also a lot of y'all know my brand. Y'all understand. I've got cars out west. I've got cars up north. I've got cars south. Uh, we're in North Carolina, and shoot, North Carolina, that's Race Tech City right there. Love my Race Tech North Carolina boys. And, um, man, I've, I've had several people been trying this guy's fuel, and, and actually I heard, I heard about it through the grapevine, and I was like, man, he's got something figured out here. Because I heard a couple people switching to it. Their cars are getting more consistent. And, you guys, y'all know me, I'm... I, uh, it, if I can't win with it, I'm, I'm just not going to support it. I mean, y'all know I was running a certain tire brand a couple years ago and I ended up switching over to Hoosers and, you know, Hooser said they had a competitive tire they wanted me to try and I tried it. I was able to get some grip with it. I was able to actually hit my 60 foots harder than ever and boom, now I'm a Hooser guy and it, it's the same thing with this fuel. You know, I wouldn't be here talking to Chris if I didn't believe he had something. And what I've seen, it it's pretty overwhelming that what he's saying, man, he, he's got something here. And I actually won't, you know, it ain't no, it ain't a secret. You know, it's no secrets anybody's trying to hide. I, we want you to have it too. So that's why I'm here endorsing him because I really believe in what he's selling. I really want to use my platform. Let's get this word out. Let's get the fuel right, and let's get some race cars we can depend on and some fuel brands we can depend on. So with that being said, Chris, like, tell me tell me about, uh, like, a price per barrel, man. What are you selling this thing? What's the retail sell on this barrel? So, uh, you know, we have some distributors that have different prices uh, locally, and, you know, uh, basically you can reach out to me at 336-707-4271. Please give me a call. Um, we can discuss pricing. Uh, you're, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks a barrel. I mean, it's not anything crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, it's competitive. Well, to me, I enjoy racing. It's very expensive. And one more thing that to add to the expense level should not be your fuel. I mean, it's it's all going to be a certain relative amount. But there there's no reason, even though we have the best, even though that I know it's far superior, apples and oranges to anything that's on the market. And a lot of people are like, why are you not charging more? Well, because I'm a drag racer and I like to go have fun and I like to be around the people that I'm having fun with. And I don't think you should go have to take a second mortgage out to fuel a car and make it and go have fun for the weekend and make it run right. So um, it's important to me. It's not all about the money. It's not about how much I can get for every barrel. It's more about the camaraderie. I've had a ton of fun doing this. I've met a lot of cool people like yourself. And thank you. This is a world champion that's signing off on us. So oh it, it's, it, it's a great deal for me <laughs> to have somebody that is so great at what they do, yeah. uh, uh-huh. even give us this time to be able to endorse this. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, it's, we keep it at a great price. I've had people say, hey, you need to go up, you need to do this, and, and, and we're going to keep our price close to the same and, and make sure that we're always competitive where you can buy the best product available for about the same price of what you're buying now. It's not going to be much more expensive at all. So I want to make it a no-brainer. I don't want where you have to choose between price and quality. You can get the best quality for about the same price you're paying now. So like I said, a couple hundred bucks a drum, that should be well within a fair market value for everybody. So, you know, give us a call. We can discuss pricing and freight and ship and stuff like that as far as the getting it to you. If you're in a different state, we're shipping to other states right now. So we can make all the accommodations whatsoever to get it dropped off at your house, at your place of business, whatever you need. We're already doing it. Um, so give us a call. Let's discuss this, see how we can make it work for you on the price. Perfect. Yeah, guys, you heard it here. There's a difference in methanol and we got something good. I really want you to try it out. Thank you. Thank you for your time. All right. Appreciate that. Um,